consider the reaction N2 plus 3H2 yields 2NH3. For a mixture of 2 mole N2 and 3 mole H2, how much of the excess reactant would remain if the limiting reactant is consumed? A. 0.5 mole B. 1 mole C. 2 moles or D. 4 moles. Here's a strategy for solving this type of problem. We assume one reactant is the limiting reactant and that is completely consumed. We then calculate how much of the other reactant would be consumed as well. Then subtract that amount from the original amount of reactant. If we get a negative remaining amount, then we know we made a wrong assumption. So we just go back to step one and assume that the other reactant is the limiting reactant. Otherwise, problem solved. Let's assume that nitrogen is the limiting reactant. Let's calculate how much H2 would be consumed if the nitrogen is completely consumed. We start with the amount of nitrogen, 2 moles. Then multiply it by a conversion factor based on the coefficients in the balanced equation. The coefficient of hydrogen is 3 and the coefficient of nitrogen is 1. We find that the amount of hydrogen that would also be consumed is 6 moles. The remaining amount of hydrogen would be the starting amount, 3 moles, minus 6 moles, which equals negative 3 moles of H2. A negative amount is impossible, so our assumption that nitrogen is the limiting reactant is wrong. Therefore, hydrogen must be the limiting reactant. Let's calculate the amount of nitrogen that would be used up assuming the hydrogen is completely consumed. We start with 3 moles of hydrogen. Times a conversion factor based on the coefficients in the balanced equation. The coefficient of nitrogen is 1. The coefficient of hydrogen is 3. We find that the amount of nitrogen that would be used up assuming 3 moles of hydrogen are used up is 1 mole. Therefore, the remaining amount of excess reactant is the starting amount, 2 moles, minus 1 mole, or 1 mole of nitrogen. The correct answer is B.